Uh, welcome back, everyone. I am looking to rebuild our sideboard, or at least create more space um, in tonight's stream. The idea is um, we're pretty cramped at the moment in the sideboard, so there's not as much flexibility. So I wanted to cut what I didn't think was no lot was was wasn't necessary in this current meta game and essentially try to open up some cyborg slots uh also our worst matchups tend to be the ones where um uh, endurance is not good uh fast combo uh where endurance isn't uh relevant so i wanted to address those matchups a little bit especially in leagues where uh i've been playing against a lot of combo lately i think last night i played against combo five times uh, in the league. I, w I started 3-0 and then lost my last two matches, but um, I think there is room for improvement there. Um, the card I cut from the main deck was the crop rotation. It's kind of nice to have, but I don't think it's really necessary. Also, I don't think Merit Lage, I don't think Green White Depths has done well for a while now. So I don't, I don't, I think we can just like accept our uh, possible loss there if we run into like a God Octi out of depths, but I'm not gonna respect that matchup and then get to create a sideboard spot by moving the Invigorate to the main deck. Um, one card I like is the first Veil of Summer because it's somewhat difficult to play around. Um, it also has applications against Storm, which is kind of the intent here. Uh, and that's also why I have the first Mindbird Trap. I, I don't like when players know that they don't have to play around Mindbird Trap. Especially now that uh, MTGO has been posting all of the 5-0s. Uh, um, so, I, I think you're at a disadvantage if you don't at least change up your list every once in a while. So, maybe we'll play one here and there just to like throw people off. All right, uh, without further ado, I guess I will go ahead and and start the league. Uh, the one needle is also, um, it's the answer Thespian stage, but not necessarily God of Tigre. Uh, the main deck I think I like at the moment, um, the one flex spot was kind of the crop rotation. The wasteland is like not necessary per se, but I found that it's very difficult for opponents to play around, so we'll, we'll go ahead with that. Uh, for those who are curious, I am not playing the showcase on Sunday. Uh, I will be busy. But I'm testing for anybody who does or who wants to play. Uh, here are my socials again. Um, I've gotten a lot of uh, nice acknowledgements lately about the list running well for uh, some newer patrons. It's new and old, I guess. Um, we're deviating a little bit from my latest posted uh, list on Patreon, but the core is strong enough where it doesn't really matter too much. The 75 you play as long as uh one you play tight and two you have a plan for your expected metagame uh so what i mean by that is um for instance uh the current configuration here with the force of vigor is slightly weaker against control because i think nature's claim is better there but uh the plan is doesn't really change much right like i think we just want to be a combo deck against uh them This opponent. Uh, the last few times I played against them, they've been on Reanimator. Uh, they salted at me, I think, the last two or three times. 
that I want. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, as a general rule of thumb, um, if you're unsure, it's generally right to leave with a layer because it can come in play untapped later on. There are certain scenarios where you're not supposed to, but um, okay, they're not on reanimator. May turn one brainstorm is kind of interesting. Uh, the only thing I can think of is maybe they're trying to play around uh, bow masters, which is silly, but that's kind of funny if that's the case because we're not running any. So the nice thing here is if they have their own bow masters, we get a evoke endurance in response and just like time walk them. Uh, presumably they're going to target Vinars in here. I actually think we care about that card. I think we just stick a Gris here now and they have to play defense. Maybe they have the Shielders Edict, we'll see. Hey Mike, thank you for the sub. Sure. They probably take the natural order, I have to imagine. Oh, they probably have the murderous cut here. That's annoying. That is annoying. Uh, we could have pitched the endurance. I didn't think it was worth it. I'm not generally playing around murderous cut for what it's worth. Uh, I think the line here is shepherd into ones, hopefully hit a cradle, and then endurance. That's like the ideal line, but we'll see. Uh, I've been on zero for a while now, for what it's worth, uh, all around. I, I don't think the card's very good, it's like personally. There's, there's no change. It's just like, well, I guess there's a slight change. I just think a lot, most of the remaining decks are like kind of immune to Bowmasters or the, or, and like, it's good against like Tempo, but even then it's kind of like high variance because it's not good if your opponent already has like a Murktide region or it's not good if you're, if you're behind, if they're on the play. Um, I just don't think they're better than uh, Manadors, which we've gone up to eight copies. Like, Mana Dorks, in my opinion, in this deck are always good. Bone Masters is, like, sometimes good and usually not. Uh, not to mention, being black opens you up to, uh, like, non-basic hate, such as Blood Moon and, uh, and, uh, and Wasteland. I just don't think it's necessary. Not to mention, you can't pitch it to Endurance either. That's the, another problem with the card. I 
I know some people will disagree with me on that. I just I just think you're you're opening yourself up to more weaknesses and for very little gain. Uh, why no snuff outs in the main? Um, you could. I I just choose not to because I don't think losing to non basic hate game one or drawing it like randomly is worth it. So for instance, right now we can for the most part fetch. Um, For the most part, we can fetch. Nice. Basics game one. I think we just main phase in here. Yeah, exactly. Like, the only black card game one is Gris, which you're tuning for anyways. And I just, yeah, I just don't think it's worth it. This is the short story. I wanted the Endurance to stick. Uh, possible I could have waited, but then you open yourself up to Bowmasters. Or more Murderous Cut. Is there a reason to cut the second Gris? Uh, I mean, I think the second Gris is fine. I just don't think you need it. Like, it's really good against... It's good against control, and that's about it, I think. You don't really need it elsewhere. Okay. Uh, six. Yeah, it's gonna bash for a bunch here. <laughs> Actually, I screwed up. I realized I, I probably had lethal. But I think it's in case they had like a fatal push or something. Hey, Nizo. Okay, that's pretty easy, I guess. Hope you're doing well, Inigo. Um, I think against them, they're kind of like a tempo deck. Uh, I love the invigorates here. Um, we kind of board similar to how we board against uh, Scam. Um. I actually don't love Wasteland here. Uh, I think Veil Summer has a chance to be like really high uh, impact. The other thing is like Veil Summer protecting an Atraxa can potentially be valid. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, I don't. Th I actually don't think we want to w to Wasteland I, uh, against this kind of deck. It can steal games, but I I. Really value. I think the strength of our deck is the consistency, and inherently that card is like kind of high variance. Again, the tempo matchups. I think this is like really good. Keep. We're gonna go turn one dork. Um. Obviously, they can bowmasters it, but I, th I think the upside is much higher than like trying to lead with Shepard. They just that's playing too defensively. Also, if they push you, just feel horrible, right? Nice. All right, 
we're like way ahead now. Hey, G hey Jared, how's it going? Yeah, we're like miles ahead. Question here is, are we gonna slam the uh, endurance main deck? Probably. I don't want them to get value. I, I don't. I also don't want to run out a naked uh, artisan. Because while we have the I, while we have the protection for it in case they bowmasters, I don't really want to pitch. Just, just to save it. They're pretty behind. Also, they're, they're probably thinking twice now about bow masses. Like, they already saw one invigorate. It's literal time walk. That's actually good for us. Now we can just run out the artisan. Uh, I think before we do anything, we're going to bash. Put pressure. Uh, question here is, do we want to do it on upkeep or, or not? Um, upkeep exposes to Bowmaster, and then... I want. I think I do want to waste their mana. Let's see what they do here. If they want a bold masters in the force, we might be okay with that. Not sure we care. Oof, that's brutal. Was not playing around the murderous cut again. Maybe I should though. Ugh, I'm mad at myself for that. Just go on offense, right? Yeah, alright, we're... That was, uh... I didn't even play the best, to be honest, but we, like... It's kind of an easy win. Uh... 
I think we're supposed to play around the murderous cut there. Um, we're just ahead on board, you know, keep the pressure up, right? Um, they have some hands that are a little bit harder to beat. Um, I think their best hands involve Witherbloom Command. But I think as long as you have a good game plan, which is just like, you know, it, I also drew pretty well for what's worth. Like that Invigory was insane. Um, so I think that's part of the reason why we're so far ahead, right? The Invigory just a full blow out there. DNS Solver. Uh, they're on Blue Painter, most likely. I, I think that deck is like trending again. Uh. Do we want to keep this? This is probably fine. Maybe a little mana uh, heavy. Uh, who do I like in the NFL playoffs? Baltimore looks really good to me. Um, what the heck is going on? They mode of four. Uh, yeah, Baltimore looks really good to me. I think for me, there's four teams who can win it all. Uh, I think. On the NFC, I like the Niners to come out. I, I I can't see them being upset. I mean, maybe if the Packers, Jordan Love has a magical run, they can... Uh... I don't think the bug is easy for Cradle, but I think it's close. Um, my experience is it's probably the harder of the variants, of uh, the Temple variants to beat, but I mean... I drew pretty well the first match, um, for what it's worth. And like I said, Witherbloom Command is very good against us because it fuels a graveyard. It um, it answers our uh, our dorks and like potentially gets back a wasteland. Uh, but namely, the fueling the graveyard is, is kind of hard for us to deal with because um, it lines up well against our deck. I think it's it's like the Golgari uh, EI, right, so to speak. Um, and then AFC, I like the three teams, right? The, the, I like, um, obviously the Ravens that I mentioned, and I think both, uh, Kansas City and Buffalo are very good. Um, obviously that's the game to watch, I think, this coming weekend. Um, hopefully I can catch the tail end of that game. Like I said, I will be busy, but, um, hopefully I can catch the tail end of that game. Uh... Obviously, um, you know, all eyes will be on that game for because it, I think it's the best game. And also, I just, I just love the Taylor Swift aspect of it, personally. Uh, Buffalo, yeah, I think it's do or die this year, right? It's just like, it's, okay, what are we playing against? Um, I'm going to assume they're on that one deck, but we'll see. Uh, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. They, they're usually on the... The uh, the painter deck, the blue painter. Uh, Veil might be relevant. Don't like that anyways. Snowfell's actually pretty decent too. But maybe not. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing what they're on. I could be fully wrong. <coughs> <laughs> uh, Texans are definitely s impressive. I w it's I wouldn't bet against C.J. Stroud at this point. Uh, obviously, I think right now Jordan Love is one of the uh, the hottest quarterbacks. Um, I think it's hilarious when the Cowboys lose. So, speaking of which, if you're a Cowboys fan, uh, how do you feel about um, McCarthy coming back? Seems kind of sketch, right? I don't think we can afford to, uh... What's going on? They countering this? Sure. Mm. 
Maybe they have a fast combo hand. Chef. How do we board? I don't even know if I love endurance in this matchup. Like. Let's see. If we draw a cradle, yeah, let's do that. If, if we draw a cradle, we can uh, can get collective next time. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not. I'd imagine it's. Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I definitely think Jerry. Uh, you know. Overstepping his boundaries and micromanaging too much is probably the problem. Like, I was thinking, of, I, I've asked, I, I think I texted my group chat, like, why would, in the world would they not fire McCarthy? And I realized, and then somebody had a pointed uh, response, like, who would want to work for Jerry? Like, all right, we can't get Collector Oof just yet, but... I think we can do everything else we want. So the question here is like, I think we'll do that. And then we'll just pass. I think you can win with Dak if you have an elite coach and an elite defense. I think they only have the latter. I don't think McCarthy's an elite coach. I think he's average at best, personally. I do think he's learned some from his Green Bay days, like not to alienate his uh, quarterback. I mean, the rumors were like Belichick to the, the Cowboys, right? But personally, I think Belichick is kind of antiquated anyways. Um, maybe not. Let me, I'll turn that off. I think I know what's going, why, what's causing that. I will deal with that in a second instead of getting distracted here. We're on the verge of like shutting down their deck. I don't think I'm supposed to respond here. I think we don't need the shepherd anymore.
That's what they, uh... Invigorate for, right? Maybe, yeah, uh, maybe Brady. <laughs> Reunion in Dallas, that'd be funny. Alright, um, that's fine. I think we can take a couple more swings from the Thought Monitor. Okay. Question here is like, what are we touring? Um, I think we just bash with both. Yeah, Invigorate's just obscene. It lines up really well because it's 6-6 six, six, six compared to Dismember. Alright, this should end the game. Are we one short? They could have Force. Let me see my sideboard. They could have forced. I think we're. We can just wait a turn. Uh, how much damage is this actually? Seven, eight, nine. Oh, I screwed up. I screwed up. Oh, that's bad. I, I I screwed up. I mean, it was pretty ahead, but what I was supposed to do is like hold the Reclaimer back and then fetch for the Arbor so I can actually have a protected hoof next turn, but it didn't matter. Um, all right, I'm going to use the restroom real quick. Here's my list.
All right. Um, let's queue up the next game, I guess. Um, yeah, about the Cowboys roster, I thought that defense was a Super Bowl talented defense, but they got shredded by the Packers. Now, granted, maybe you know Dan Quinn is um, you know ha has one foot out the door anyways, g given his he's interviewing for other jobs. Um, we all saw you know Kyle Shanahan kind of like take the foot off the pedal in the uh, the Super Bowl a couple years back. When they're and Atlanta was up twenty eight three, right? Like, I don't know. It, it's a case of that, or, or or just maybe Dallas was just ill prepared for the for the game. But um, I think as bad as the Eagles have been, uh, the Cowboys were the biggest losers in my opinion for uh, Wild Card Weekend. My Rams lost, but. At least that was the only saving grace for the weekend, I think. I think, you know, the other five games are horrible to watch. Um, the Steelers, I think, were in over their heads against uh, Buffalo. And Tua looked kind of lost out there. Uh, I, I That was the easiest one to predict, I think. That the, um, the Dolphins wouldn't do well in Kansas City, like... They haven't done well all year and it, it, against like good teams outside of Dallas and then um, what to call it? I, I think it was a mismatch at the quarterback position. Too many lands. Sure. It's, it's interesting to see Dak tie himself to McCarthy that way. I mean, maybe that's another reason why McCarthy stayed, but... Also, uh, even though I'm a Rams fan, I am happy for Jared Goff. Like, um, the turnaround was pretty cool. S same thing with Baker, I guess. Uh... I think the most impressed I was this weekend were from the two first-time uh, playoff quarterbacks, uh, both Jordan Love and uh, and C.J. Stroud. The the Stroud game I didn't watch that much because it was a blowout. Like Flacco completely unraveled, but the the Love game I watched because. I just think it's hilarious when Stephen A. Smith, uh, you know, has his videos uh, on the Cowboys. I don't have anything against the Cowboys. I just think it's funny that the, the Stephen A. videos. draw a relevant one drop here I think I'm happy um all right Uh, the nice thing here is it's a Telegraph Bone Masters. We're just gonna waste our mana. Not intentionally, but like. Sort of intentionally, I guess. Sure. So they, they played as a Mog War Marshal. I, I take that as a W, right? That's part of the reason why I didn't uh, get a ramp or, or Shepherd. I didn't want to walk into Bone Masters there. Um. It's possible they have a second here. The question is, do I want to give them value? Sure. 
Uh, that makes our decision easy. I think we're just slamming natural order now. They have bow masters they would have played, or they should have at least. Once. Not a great Atraxa, but probably enough. Uh, I think I think here we just take the artisan. I don't think they have reanimation. I'm not at least I'm not gonna play around with it. Esper colors is interesting though. Sorry, not Esper. 4C, I guess. We saw them pitch a, an Uro. <coughs> sure. It's times like this where Basaju would be pretty neat, right? You hit the Leyland Bonnie, get your Atraxa back, plus draw. I don't think we care. Two, three, four mana. I think we Gris here. One reason why Endurance is main deck now um, is because there are some players who are willing to gamble on not using their bow masters on our dorks and try to save it for Ian Artisan. And it's just a heavy, it's just a time walk slash blowout, right? Like, if they try to bow master your Artisan as a 1-1, you have the Endurance to uh, counter that in response, you probably just win the game. It's a punish for essentially opponents holding... Uh, Removal for artisan. Like I think the principle of, like bolt the bird still holds, right? Like, I, I I've seen people try to get cute and like not bolt our mana dorks. I think that's mostly wrong. Obviously, if I have like a bunch of mana already, then yeah. But I'm talking about early game here. Jesus. It's times like this where I want the second Gris, but I don't, I don't think I care. It probably not. I think we're on F six here, right? Either they have the answer, and then we maybe attack some more, or we're going to gain two. If they don't have the answer for the artisan. Do 
do they have the answer? We have five. It's lethal as of right now. They don't have removal. <coughs> Alright, they're gonna hit our dork. Or maybe Shepard. Uh, actually, I doubt Shepard. short still. I think we want to play to the board, yeah. We're short, unfortunately, for the uh, hoof. Because that would have been three, seven, eight damage. We can't get another Gris. That would have been nice, but. It's a 4-4 four, four here. We can clear their board? No. Actually. What are we getting here? Actually, yeah. Yeah, F6, I guess. I thought about it for a second to get a Reclaimer, but I figured we were the other Cradle. I don't think that deck plays Wasteland. We can beat one removal spell here. Because that'll be four mana, five, six, seven, eight again. I think I definitely wanted the second Gris here. <clears throat> I wonder if a disenchant, something like a mass vandal would be worth it. Uh, at least post board to handle the ley line binding. They didn't shuffle, which is interesting. Maybe they're gonna dress down here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that it would be pretty neat, right? You get a Gris back and then you can tick up. The, there's the Spider too, the 4-drop Golgari one that can kill enchantments, but that one's more mana intensive. Uh, Vandal's a little bit more narrow, but I think efficiency is king these days. Um, how do I want to play this? I think I'm just going to bash.
They want to commit more to the board. Terminus would be pretty bad here if they had it. Almost jinx myself. Actually, I think the line might have been to get green the green sun for another dork because it beats a removal spell on a dork. We still have lethal. And I don't think we're playing around terminus at this point. Yeah, see, I, that's the problem, right? If they have force here, that's pretty awful for us. could force into just draw a card, but I think I'd have to check that. I think we might have already won if I had just uh, ramped the previous turn. Definitely missing the... Oh, I think they have the Terminus. Shoot. That's why they would attack. <sighs> Alright, I, I threw this game. Dress down is a uh, hell of a card against us. I that was like pretty bad. Like I I had the win the previous turn. I didn't play the green sun, and then um and then I played it the turn after where we counted the mana. They were at five. They're going to six. So like pretty bad sequencing by me. I don't think we're winning from here. We had our window already, and then I like butchered that. Also, I, maybe I was just supposed to go green, green Sun for um, for Hoof there. And just not play around it, right? Like, just an uh, embarrassment of uh, mistakes. 
Like, I think we might have lethal, too. We Like, I had eight mana. I just could have sun and not play around removal there. Because with six mana, you, you're, you're count that's terminus mana, right? Don't think we're winning from here, but we'll see. Maybe they hard cast force here. All right, this one's on me. So the, yeah, the two mistakes I think were not playing the green center ramp on, when they were gonna have when they were on four mana, and then when they were on five, I think I play for the win there because we if they force they're probably down to no cards right. And then they're the terminus you lose. So I I think I didn't. I needed to not play around terminus the turn before, and then hope and then go for the win the, the on the turn before they had six mana. The two two big mistakes. Step six. I think in the interest of the stream, I'm like tempted to concede here. Actually, no, it's two mana. They have another Bowmasters, that might just be it. Yeah, I thought about the timing out, but like, I don't know if like, Twitch chat is like interested in that though. They are behind by a good two minutes. I'm just not sure that's the most exciting for, for viewership is all. <laughs> I guess we're just F6. Obviously, if this is like a event I care about, then yeah, I'll play it out. But like, this is just a league at the end of the day. So they're probably gonna put, I would imagine, the Lorian reveal again on top. Two. Three, four, five, six, short. It's it shouldn't be winnable, but like you never know, I guess. Like I 
Like that Lorian review is gonna draw a bunch now. But yeah, we win easily if I don't.